Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 25 September. Risk on is uh, is the theme here. This thing caught a bid um, over the Powell testimony. Uh, a little moonchy, little moonchy boonchy. Um, took time out of therapy to also uh, testify yesterday and do some speaking. Market caught a little bit of a bid here. Uh, let's go straight to ES. Very constructive. Market um, market might be a little bit short here. So be careful with this if you are short. Um, do think we're going to trade above this sort of 65, sort of the weekly pivot, isn't it? Once we got through 65, uh, things became very, very bearish very, very quickly. Now we're back up at 65. Um, it held first time, but prices up through there, I would not fade. Just as a trade, um, might be long stocks today. Let's see. Euro also, we've been waiting for the turn. Um, tricky yesterday, right? Let's check a look at this price action. We're fucking around down here, uh, down through 50. Bang. I hate these volume. Why do we have these volumes in here? Um, traded down. To 25. We talked about 22 was going to be the low. Uncanny how sometimes we just fucking nail that. A um, little bit of luck involved with these. When you pick a turn, you have to recognize there's a fair bit of luck. Um, some skill, but uh, some luck. Anyway, uh, we thought 22 was going to be the low. 25 was the actual low. A little bit of a uh, zippity doo da up to 87. Now here we are at 66. Take a step back on the dailies. It's kind of an indecisive bar, marginally positive, um, just based on story, right? And we're waiting for this dollar sale story to pick up some steam again. Dovish, cornered Fed. Um, bloated, debt-ridden country uh, with no leadership in sight. Um, not a great story right now in the USA. Uh, so we're looking for this story to sort of self-actualize with price. Um, and I think we just might be on to something here. So we're going to be core long euros uh, again today. Looking for more topside. Gets a little more spirited uh, above 90. Cable, two sort of indecisive days. But we talked about it yesterday on Twitter. This goes up better than it goes down. Obviously, uh, you're at the mercy of news flow with cable. Um, but... Uh, also above 80, euro above 88, cable above 80, uh, could be some fresh air up there. Dollar Swiss, uh, don't get your knickers twisted trading this fucker. Um, looks pretty big, right? That could change any second. Uh, here's a nice little trend line if you believe in that shit. Even if you don't believe in it, they're they're useful in the sense that they're like supportive of like what the trend is, and half of trading is like what's the trend and when is the trend broken. Um, so we are looking for euro dollar higher and cable higher. Surely dollar Swiss has to turn lower at some juncture, um, but you know I would avoid trading dollar Swiss. In the same way you want to avoid putting arsenic in your coffee in the morning. Um, which is probably not that great for your health. Dollar Swiss. But we'll see if she turns. 
on the dailies. Ooh wee, bid, bid, bid. That's like, uh, put on your gimp costume, man. That shit is powerful. Dang. We don't mind dollar Swiss higher, obviously. Um, as I said and I mentioned before, we trade a lot of dollar Swiss just because we overlay, right? We get paid in dollars. A lot of our investments are in dollars. And we live in Switzerland um, just because we like to pay high prices for shit. So we got to take our dollars and always, so we're always sellers of dollar Swiss. So we like it when it goes up. Anyway, bias. Dollar yen just refuses, um, refuses to turn. It's now like giving me a bit of a migraine, this dollar yen. It's just sitting up here. We talked about selling it between 25 and 55, and we did. Um, that was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That was like 40 hours ago. Uh, it's just sitting here, dicking around. Below 20 gets more interesting. If you are short, uh, I don't know, like it's not doing anything, so like good luck out there. It's like 35, 45 for 40 hours, but dollar yen should turn eventually. Dollars are. <laughs> Need a fucking therapist. Trading dollars are. Just hysterical vol. Up to the figure. Down to 55. Up to 10. Back to the figure. Up to 23. Down to 95. Um, we made a little bit of money in dollars R, but pretty hysterical. Uh, the story is so negative. Maybe it's just it's just too negative like people are too maybe too emotional with the dollars are dollars are bulls are so emotional because um, the the country itself is economically like cratering uh, it might well, would be better off if it just got hit by an asteroid or something I mean they're just so uh, financially so strapped it's hard to hard to get your head around that um, so you have emotional bulls and then you, you know, emotional bulls create volatility because there are too many chips on the table and then there's stops that have to be done. and Tricky, tricky stuff, right? Um, <clears throat> we do think this is eventually going to go higher. Today looks like a day where we're going to probe lower first. So just be careful. Uh, dollar, dollars are. Dollar Max came back down to earth after trading at 2270. Good 200, 200 big finger, big figures. You guys remember that last week when I said I'm calling the turn. You do that day. This thing's never going to trade below 90. Uh, traded eight big figures below 90, like it always does when you say shit like that. Uh, 200 higher. <clears throat> now this should go sideways for a bit. If you rode that horse, book some profits. If you're feeling nimble uh, and you're young and stylish, uh, trade this from the long side, but trade it now. It should be some sideways action. Little mini squeeze in uh, Aussie. Um, Euro Aussie. I've been talking about this. Just a botch. We started buying this at 62.50 this week. It's now at 65.17. Uh, our PL is minuscule. Annoying. Uh, but the next time stocks turn down, this is now super interesting. This sort of 65.95 or 66 to figure. This is a trendy little horse, right? And it's it's not a Clydesdale, it's a thoroughbred when it gets going. So I mean just take a look at this um, for those of you who uh, were trading in February. Shoo! 165 to 198. One, yeah, that was just a vicious. And so once stocks start turning lower again, uh, which they will, I think, heading into this election, 
uh, Euro Aussie could be your could be your horse. Let's take a look at gold. Also, just like Aussie, uh, gold's been a really a really good barometer for dollar play in general. A real big battle um, in gold down here in the 70s. We talked about 79 being the uh, bull bear line. Uh, we took a little peek up at 81 there, but it still kind of is this. Once we get through 80, say, on an hourly close, um, this will be part of our story. Add to our conviction for long euro dollar. Dollar cat also turned. Been trying to short that. Uh, but we pulled the mercy rule sometime yesterday. Uh, but same trade, you know, same trade as the Aussie, same trade as the gold. Take a look at crude bid, uh, but within the range. So uh, keep it uh, keep it civilized in, in crude. Nothing really to see there. Finally, where's our little ZB? We're short some ZBs. ZN not doing much here's the old ZB 176.20 um, just waiting I was talking to um, you know one of these fixed income genius type guys yesterday why are the fixed income guys always the smartest guys in this business that's weird um, anyway uh he was getting all juiced up about sort of the trade of a lifetime. He's also in his 40s, so he's been around, but uh, getting all juiced up about the trade of a lifetime, which is fixed income lower. I totally agree with this. This um, will be the reckoning trade, and this will be the trade they write books about uh, over the next 10 years. So I don't know when it's going to happen, but core short seems to be the way. Um, ZB be interesting. Finally, Bitcoin not doing anything. Ten six seems to be following stocks a little bit. Makes no sense that, but just, that's what's happening right now. Um, nothing to do in Bitcoin. All right, look, we're we're gonna try and uh, be short dollars today. Uh, if you're playing an ES, you want to play on the long side. Uh, short ZB looks fun. And we're watching gold as the canary. I've definitely said enough now. Um, wish you a good trading day and a beautiful weekend. I will see you all on Monday.